Nyando Social Justice Center is a women-led social justice center which does a lot of human rights against women and children. Started way back in 2008 when Karen relocated back home from Nairobi. Then she formed a women support group in the village where she saw the need of supporting women who are being violated by their husbands. Some of them were sick of HIV and AIDS. So she decided to empower these women. So when she empowered these women and started a table banking in the village, which escalated to other villages in the whole of Nyando and Kisumu County, once these women were empowered, they could lend in money from the table banking and start businesses. And it reached a point whereby these women now became champions. And uh, the, the ones who had been violated started bringing cases for others who were also being violated in, in their villages. And through that meetings that we normally held, we normally share our experience, we share our personal problems that we are facing at home, and then after end of it all, we find amicable solutions on how we can solve. When I was referred to Nyando Social Justice Center, nilifanyiwa counseling and then nilewekwa kwa merry go round. Ambapo tulikuwa tunatoa 100 per week. So vile nili grow out of 100, ndiyo wakaneweka kwa table banking. Kwa table banking, wale, saving ilikuwa inaansa kwa 50 bob up to 500. So vile niliingia kwa hiyo, at least nilikuwa na peace kwa nyumba ya, ya anguju. Sasa msea likuwa sometimes anarudi, anapata ni menunua chakula, watoto ni mewalipia hata pesa kidogo kidogo, ambapo ilifanya hata msea le nitopa pia pesa kwa business yangu. Out of that, sai mimi na yasa somesa watoto wangu wawili wako colleges, Watatu wako secondary na pia kuna wawili wenye nasaidia fans wenye sio wangu. So that is how it, it forced Karen now because these women were so empowered to start a social justice center here which is the Nyando Social Justice Center. And those women who had been empowered, she gave them the leeway to start social justice centers in their villages. At the moment we have like 50 and most of them are women-led. The difference between Jando social justice centers and other organizations, the work we do is like pro bono. We are all volunteers and we have a passion to do our work. We give referral pathways to victims who've been violated at zero fee. And uh, another thing which I can say is an innovation to us is that we are branded. We are well known. Everybody says, if you go to Nyando Social Justice Center, you'll get assistance. The impact of Nyando Social Justice Center is so great that even a small boy in the village knows that there's a place called Nyando Social Justice Center. Because we found cases whereby even young boys and girls, they come all the way from even ours to come and report that my father beat me up. My father has refused to pay for me school fees. So Nyano Social Justice Center has an impact, which is well known in the whole of Kisumu County. We've managed to rescue women who are facing violence and took them, uh, take them back to their homes. We've managed to retrieve the lands of widows who have been, who the in-laws have taken their lands away to rescue Watoto, like for example, to rescue Mtoto in a place known as Okana, where the uncle told the lady to achemishe chakula kwanza, ya pike ugali, and instead the girl did the opposite. So the uncle could take moto and then he insert a knife and then she starts putting it on the private parts and all over. So when one of our colleagues saw it twice at the other end, we as women in Nyando Social Justice Center, together with our rescue team, we dug deep into our pockets, we resource, we resource mobilized, and then we found a little funds. We went there and rescued the girl. Through that table banking and the merry-go-round, 
where we save and we loan. Me personally, I'm in college year one. I've managed to raise my own school fees and I'm not finding, I'm not finding hard to go to school. So the impact of Nyando social justice, people also believe we are police. They don't even trust the police themselves. They don't trust the chiefs. So instead, someone anatoka uko machinani na kesi and they come directly to our office. And then you ask the person, have you gone to the police station? No, I saw it twice because I know you are also police on your own. And then we tell them, no, here with us, we follow something that is called referral pathway. So our impact is really felt in Nyando and we are, pre uh, we are proud of that. The challenges that we undergo as a social justice centers are many. One of them is we don't have finances for psychosocial support. At times we really need to help somebody but our hands are tied because we don't have the finances. Another thing, another challenge that we have is uh, the police officers, most of the time, they are not supportive. Our future plans is to grow, to have a lot of networks, to have a point where the police will embrace the work that we do so that we can work in peace and harmony and have um, a county where whatever we say or whatever we are doing is felt by the police and all the gatekeepers in the government. I urge every Kenyan that is listening or watching my video anywhere, I urge you to vote Nyando Social Justice Center because we really believe in ourselves, we believe in the community, and we believe in the people that we serve. And justice is always our DNA. The cases that we have followed in the whole country are the most, especially on GBV and uh, SGBV. We are well known for that. And if you vote for us, we will work more and more to make sure that our children and our women are safe in this country. Thank you.